Tell me about this musical. So, so David Fincher has been baiting me for years, and I thought it was just a joke that he wanted to do a musical of Fight Club because it takes so much to stage a Broadway musical that really only studios do it really well now with Hairspray, with Legally Blonde. A studio stage is the big, expensive thing. And David said, we can get Trent Reznor to do the score, you can do the book, I'll direct it. And just recently, this last summer, he optioned the stage rights, and Trent agreed to spend a year doing the score. And David started to consult with, Chuck taps his head, Julie Taymor. Because Julie Taymor really knows how to kill actors. Yeah. <laughs> and now David has this massive dream of creating a rock opera. Because Tommy was the rock opera for my generation. And then The Wall was the rock opera for my generation. <laughs> and we really haven't had a rock opera for uh, a generation. So... David's idea is that Fight Club can be that. And you don't feel that that's diminishing the message or somehow, you know... I am designing scratch and sniff bookmarks for the Fight Club sequel comic. <laughs> Let's talk about that, Fight Club 2, the comic. Did Shakespeare ever have scratch and sniff? I don't think so. <laughs> Hemingway? No. Not even Joyce Carol Oates has stooped so low. So don't you lecture me about prestige and literary heritage and legacy. We would not dream of it, Chuck. <laughs>